Now to the landmark court case of a Michigan mother on trial for the killings carried out by her teenage son. Jennifer Crumbly is charged with involuntary manslaughter for allegedly allowing her son access to the gun he used to kill four students at his high school. CBS's Elaine Cajano says prosecutors showed the jury how Crumbly and her husband were captured after several days in hiding. Prosecutors played police body cam video as authorities closed in on Jennifer Crumbly and her husband James in Detroit. It was four days after their son Ethan had shot and killed four students at Oxford High School. Prosecutors also showed text messages found on the shooter's phone, including one from Jennifer Crumbly saying, Ethan, don't do it. She isn't charged with being immoral. On Wednesday, Crumbly allowed new information to be disclosed, her affair with a witness who took the stand. I was worried. Um, he was going to do something dumb. Who was worried? Uh, Jennifer. Crumbly's defense attorney showed jurors messages between the two in the wake of the shooting. At one point, Crumbly saying, quote, I'll never be okay. I lost my son, and he's a murderer, and I'll forever have to live with the guilt of that. Criminal defense attorney Joe Tamburino says this trial could have wider legal implications. Because it could usher into a new era where prosecutors are scrutinizing the behavior of parents, how they parented, what information they received about their children. Crumbly has pleaded not guilty. Prosecutors could wrap up their case this week. It's not clear if Crumbly herself will take the stand. Her husband's trial is set to begin in March. Nora. Elaine Cajano, thank you.